Hey, today we are going to show you how to make a USB charger. You will need a cell phone, a USB drive, and a spare charger. And this is optional. You can either use this. You can either solder your wires or you can just twist them together. And you need some tape. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first, you're going to need to cut the in, not plugging into your computer, off the USB and strip the wires. You are only going to use the red and the black, so the other ones you can just cut off. And with your phone charger, you need to cut off the ones that, the part that plugs into the wall, and j just have this, and have them stripped. Okay, we'll come back to you. Now we're going to, about to solder it. If you do not have a solder, you can just twist the wires together. Okay. Okay, now we are going to solder the USB end which is the two red and black wires and we are also going to solder the charger or the phone charger wires and make sure that neither of these wires are plugged into your laptop or source of anything that you are plugging your USB into and make sure that before you solder that if you are planning to use that if you are planning to um use shrink wrap that you sign it on before that you do it. So you can see I already added some see kind of moves. And then you want to solder it, which I will get back to you in a second. Just have to let my soldering thing warm up and I'll be ready to show you how to connect these two by solder. Okay, now my soldering uh device has warmed up. And we are now ready to solder the two cables together. So, just to make sure they do not move during the process, I'm going to be getting some tape. This is not necessary, just to help keep it still. So, I just want to tape that down. Uh, that one nice and good. And then, um, then get the cell phone wires. And I memorized that since this has a white stripe here, that this is going to be matching with the red wire. So I'm going to solder those two together, some more tape, and we'll have a cell phone charger. So first of all, you want to just make sure everything's ready. Just got, I'm going to kind of unravel these two. Uh, so just want to kind of get them unraveled. It's kind of hard, but make sure you don't touch the solder and device, whatever you want to call it, and get the end somewhat together just so they kind of stay kind of hard sometimes. So let's get this undone. And so I'll get back to you on this when I get my things ready. So, uh, one second. Okay, now I have these two wires ready to be soldered. Just let me get my solder and everything ready. So you want to heat up that, get it ready, touch it with some, and you can kind of see it absorbing it. Not very good, but I mean, I'm not used to this, so you want to just kind of feed it, then touch it, and let that soak in. Make sure it doesn't, you don't touch it. Because you will be burned, and you can kind of see it. You can see that it's nice and connected. Not very good quality, but just saying. It's nice and good. So let's go to the next one, and I'll get that one ready and get back to you. Okay, now just wanted to make sure that these are going to be good. So I'm going to add, just make sure, some shrink wrap for the wire so I can get that. So just want to shove that in real quick. Just run it down. So you want to make sure that you have it pretty far down. So 
that the heat does not travel and very far, but the heat will travel pretty far through the wire. You don't want it to shrink up on the wire, or you'll be stuck using tape, which I prefer not to use tape. So get this, and I'm gonna have this ready. Okay, now that my wires are ready, I'm gonna get my solder again, and I'm going to heat up the wire again. So I'm gonna get that all kneaded it up, and I'm gonna touch it. That absorb really far into the wire. So now that those two wires are connected, I'm gonna let them cool for a second. Just blow them a little. Okay, now I'm going to take off the tape that's what that I need, just helped a little. Um, so I'm gonna get this all ready. So, kinda hard. Sure, I was just saying. Okay, now I'm going to go get something to shrink wrap it on. So I'll be back to you for to connect that. Okay. Okay, now that I have my source of heat, I guess this is the only kind of good source of heat that you can really get. So I'm gonna slide up this shrink wrap and I'm going to just run it lightly through here. Don't wanna just wanna lightly run it. Especially on the ends. Make sure you don't melt anything. Just run it through really quick. And now that it is nice and good on, you want to get the other one that you added on and you want to slide it down. Make sure that it did not um, melt, which mine didn't. And you want to. So you just slide it down, get it to the end, nice and good. I'm gonna get it in that break, so like you don't have to touch anything else or have a better chance of its um, survival life thing, whatever you want to call it. Okay, hopefully that didn't break. Okay, good, it didn't. Okay, now I'm gonna just make sure that didn't. It's on there, nice and good. Again, run it through. Okay, this one's bigger, so using it on smaller wires. So then that now that that's gonna be on there, I'm gonna let that cool uh, for a minute. Just let that cool. You don't want to touch it. Oh, my candle. So uh, I'll get back to it. Okay, this. now that we finished. Making the final product, now it's time to try it. So first, I'm going to plug it in to the USB port on on the computer. Okay. And now, plug it into the phone. So it's loading up. We have not. Pre we did not press the power button. And the. It's in, and as you can see, it says charging, charging battery. battery. And it even will charge without the battery in it, which it probably doesn't charge anything, but it'll still work. Yes. And there you have it. And make sure to subscribe, rate, and comment to our channel's Computer Help 501. Harrison Incorporated in Sports Shed. Thanks. See you next time.